Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Thought I'd better hurry up and get this cotton picking saddle here done. Seeing as I went and bought me a dad young big old 48 foot trailer to put stuff in. <laughs> this one's been a tough one. Very, very, very tough for me at least simply because it started out being my son's saddle 20 some odd years ago. And I never got around to doing much more than the ground seat, which you, I could show you, but I'd have to move the camera. And then I <clears throat> told my grandson's mother that I'd build him one. And this is for him. So, yeah, it's kind of been tugging on my heartstrings every time I look at it. Every time I get, you know, get to thinking and working on it and everything. So... Anyway, enough of the drama. I'm sorry. And and this is the easiest way I've found. Of course, you can't see now, can you? You can't see nothing but the inside of my dead gum up underneath the tree and everything. What I'm doing now is uh, taking a swivel knife and cutting my design I came up with for this front. Uh, so that... I can copy it and transfer it to the other side. And what I'm going to have to do is take a piece of that cellophane stuff and just, I'll have to notch it so that it'll fit over the swells. And then I'm just going to have to kind of go for broke and hope like heck I get it right by golly. So I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of moving around and stuff. You'll get to see my handsome mug while I do all this cutting and stuff. But today I went and looked at a 48 foot. Whew, that's a big long trailer, David. Uh, what's known as a toy hauler. Um, imagine a, like a cargo trailer that you can, you know, an enclosed trailer that you can haul a car with. And then in the front half of it, you've installed living quarters. Like you see on a horse trailer. And, um, but instead of having a horse trailer... I've got a what because horse trailers I looked at, they're only like seven foot wide. And that's just not a whole lot of room on the inside. For what I'm wanting to do, I want to be able to put, you know, some saddles I've got made up inside. I want some tack that I will eventually get around to making up. Uh, you know, and then I can get around and get out to places. I don't see nobody lining up to come out to the house and, you know, see my saddles and ordering one and all so uh i've been thinking long and hard about it and just kind of i got lucky and found one on on the facebook marketplace and i got a good price on it it's in excellent shape it's not a problem to look at one of them a couple of months ago and good god it was a project i had to gut the entire thing down to the frame and then go buy a bunch of, you know, new stuff to put in it. I just didn't, I don't want a project like that no more. I had plenty of projects when I did my off-road racing. So, but anyway, this one would be good to go. I'll get a my housekeeping gal to come out and kind of knock the dust off of it on the inside. And then from there, I will... Um, start working on the inside every once in a while as far as getting a, oh, I want a display case and like a, um, oh, display rack, I guess, so that I can put some tack and stuff up in it. Um, and, uh, I gotta look back every once in a while. I'm trying to figure out where in the world you at, David Mills. This one I'm nervous about. 
but we just have to hope for the best. I'm trying to do two or three things at one time. Talk to y'all, hold the saddle in just the right spot, and um, follow my lines. So pardon me if I just kind of go quiet on you <laughs> all of a sudden. Um, pardon me if I go quiet all of a sudden. But I need to get a better... This drawdown stand works great until it comes time to do something like we're trying to do here. Um, simply put, some of the drawdown stands they make, you can get them to where they hook into these stirrup slots and you can move them all the way around and it's good and sturdy and you can tap on it and everything, but... I hadn't found one yet. Some of the guys are using a uh, barbershops. Okay, time to, what are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do now, anybody? Class, anybody? We're gonna go strop my blade. What I like to use is I just found me a piece of latigo that I had to cut off because it was too long. And then I'll rub my jeweler's rouge on it. And then I can come over here. That's all you need is that little one inch because you're only doing like a quarter inch or three eighths of an inch wide blade. But yeah, I can feel that thing kind of sort of getting sticky on me. So I said, whoa, David. It's dropping time. So anyway, these lines are getting hard to see, by the way. I guess the... I did not, and I'm, I apologize. I know y'all can't see, but I'm not very good at doing this upside down kind of stuff like that because it's a... It's hard on my old man back, number one. And then there's this option here I could do over here at least. Pardon my head. Burn. Maybe if I do this. See what I mean? I'm just, I'm in an odd position. Now, a lot of guys will tool this while it's in the flat. Which would make things a whole lot easier. But, when I put these swell covers on, I just really wasn't real sure uh, what kind of tooling I was going to do on this saddle, if that makes sense. I just got that one little spot right there to do by the golly. And it's a, it's a difficult, it's a big old, what's the word I'm looking for, David? Uh, big old swirl. So, I'm going to take that right here. And I know y'all can't see a dang thing of what I'm doing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But, uh,
Now don't leave yet, don't hit that next video button because I'm going to show you what the world we're doing here, by golly. There's that. that so I just kind of sort of want to come around here like that and that gives me some more background right there uh -oh. all right that's gonna have to be kind of a Whoops, moment, but oh well. So now I guess I can shoot. Woo, that a boy. Now you can't see nothing I'm doing, huh? Or I don't know, maybe you could. Where'd that piece go I just had? I had a piece of this cut right here, you go. See, basically all I did was slip this. Now I can lay that on top of there. I've got a special, special. Hang on a minute. You know me, I'm not very well organized. But I can kind of sort of put this right there. And then I can come down here and trace those lines. Can you see them? Can you see them? Yeah, you kind of sort of can, huh? And then because I slit that, I can do the same thing over here. Plus get everything up top there. And then just flip it over and uh, trace it out right here, more or less. Now, I've got points that I'll use for reference so that it works a little better. Like a point here, down here where this point is. So, that's how that's going to happen. So, I'm going to turn you loose because I'm sure you've had up enough from me but that's what that there is going to look like when it's all done all right to the loo buggeroo